I don't even know how to talk without having the ice machine talk over me. This week has been kind of stressful because I have a paper due tomorrow and it's not that it's a very long paper but it's more that the topic that I'm supposed to write on is particularly difficult I find. I am a big fan of Fellini films. Fellini is one of the most well-known Italian directors and he's probably one of the most influential filmmakers in all of film history. And I've always been a big fan of Fellini, especially his films during the 50s, but now we've moved on into his 60s period, which is La Dolce Vita, Eight and a Half. And while I do like Eight and a Half, I just find it particularly hard to write about. It's kind of like there are so many things going on under the surface that it's hard to choose and really narrow down your argument. In terms of La Dolce Vita, I just can't write about that film at all and I never want to try to write about that film <laughs> because it's three hours of corrupt Italian people ruining their lives. <laughs> So I procrastinated on writing the essay, and while I do know what I'm going to say about Eight and a Half, I just have to make sure that I can write it out clearly and communicate my point clearly, and that usually takes a while for me to do. At the same time this week, I've been very delved into Fellini, and I've rewatched the films, and I've been thinking about it when I walk, and I'm getting that feeling that sometimes you are just so immersed in studying something that it starts to make its way and invade on your everyday life activities. Like when I'm making dinner, then I just hear Fellini's voice narrating what I'm doing. Or when I'm walking home, I just expect a three-man marching band to start playing and I can follow them. Or a horse to randomly cross my path. And I feel kind of sad because when I pass other people, they are totally going about their normal lives and I'm just stuck in this strange, confusing Fellini world and I can't get out until I finish my paper. That being said, I would much rather be stuck in a Fellini world than, say, a Quentin Tarantino world. That would be the worst world to be stuck in ever. <laughs> I would die very quickly. Whereas in Fellini, I would just be inspired by dreams and confusion and I would hate myself through most of it but by the end I would find my true identity and I would be able to authentically portray myself to others and it would be ah, bellissimo. But anyway, I will see you tomorrow.